The Professional Diploma in Smart Health Leadership came from a need that identified on the ground. We teach students throughout the programme, throughout the training classes, how to apply the tools and the skills. And then through the Capstone Project, we show them how to bring those tools and skills together to solve real problems in the hospital. Congratulations Fahim, so you're one of our pioneering graduates for the Professional Diploma in Smart Health Leadership. Perhaps you could share a little bit about the role you currently have at Unteng Fong Hospital. Thanks, I'm Shin. I'm a senior consultant in intensive care and emergency medicine at Anteng Fong Hospital. I'm also a chair of Cardiac Support Committee. My work involves uh, dealing daily with critically ill patients. But more than the clinical work, my non-clinical work for being a chair of Cardiac Support Committee, we always look for the ways to identify a deteriorating patients in the wards in the hospital. And one of the key motivation was to liaise with other industry members out in the market, look from the non-healthcare perspective and try to bring those innovative ideas into healthcare and try to can streamline the whole processes. I was interacting with the people, especially in non-healthcare, people from banking sector, charity sector, tourism, and how they think and fine-tune the perspective and bring the patient or the layperson view in what we do. The project we did in two phases. One was a pilot phase and one is a real phase going to happen in the next couple of days. In pilot phase, what we looked at, we had a concept that can't we automate the escalation of a sick patient to the right doctor at the right time all the time? Why do we using this old way of doing things? Why can re-engineer what we do? We can use automation technology. If something goes abnormal, the message can go straight away to a doctor. A doctor, if he or she is busy, can use somebody else's help also to send for the help. At the same time, the nurse stays at the bedside, not wasting her time on a computer or a phone chasing somebody else, but does a real clinical work for the patient care. By doing these two things, by simple automation and reasoning the whole process, realize it can save a lot of patient lives. Where there is a will, there is a way. Work as a team. Look at the existing infrastructure. Look what, how you can fine tune it and make it better. Utilize what you have. It's easy to go, go buy a gadget every year in a shop, but look at what you have, fine tune it, and work as a team, you can do a lot of things. Okay, thank you so much, Fahim. That's been fantastic to hear. And it's wonderful to hear that collaboration underpinned the success of your project in so many ways. And that's your real takeaway and advice to future intake. Uh, we look forward to welcoming our next batch of Smart Health Leadership Centre students. And we're looking forward to taking on even bigger challenges with you. If you're grappling with a transformation programme, uh, please do join us at NUS ISS Smart Health Leadership Centre.